So, uh, Drex, you feeling sucky because Quill took my side? He explicitly did not. As far as I know, we ain't turning this ship around and heading back to the Macriarch. I'll take that as a win. It is Matriarch. I know, I was making a pun. Because she's a blue blood? Well, at least on her mom's side. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. I saw you looking at those emergency door control, stupid llama thing. You better not try eating them. I hope that was llama speak for I will not chew up your shit. And that better have been an acknowledgement. What are you working on, Rocket? Uh, just a little upgrade for the Milano's weapon systems. I told you I'd put that quarantine zone tech to good use if you hit it from Nova Corps. Cool. How soon can we try it out? Oh, depends on how long you're gonna stand there bothering me. You want something? What'll it be this time? Confetti jet boots? Hey, Starscut. I hope you appreciate me more after all that. Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh, no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Shoo! Flark off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am Groot. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this Flarkin cult ever again. <laughs> Can't wait for Star Fans to see what I do to the weapon system. It's gonna be great, right, Musclehead? Hey, Drax, you okay? Drax? Hey, Groot, remember Hark's half odd security system from last time? Won't look like nothing compared to our new weapons array. Are you okay?
Somebody makes the right call and gets us out of the way of those coach idiots. <laughs> According to this, the Collector reported Groot stolen 14 years ago. <clears throat> Can we help you? Oh! Hey! Rocket! Groot! Sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut, Quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guys! Groot, I, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just... Curious about this report thingy I found. <laughs> yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot says he'll answer your stupid questions. How'd you end up with the Collector in the first place? How do you think? He stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece, a splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? <laughs> I am Groot. He can still die, but he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs> I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find you? I am Groot. A drone found him, dormant in space. Guess old Tivin scours the galaxy for new specimens. I am Groot. Slavery ain't the same as saving. I am Groot. He insists the Collector saved him by planting him, and also keeping him in a das cage until I stole him, hence the stupid Flarkin report. Is it still active, the report? Will the Collector come collecting? You see any gold domes around lately? Fair enough. What happened to your home world? I am Groot. You never told me that. I am Groot. What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a an experimental doomsday device. Holy crap. That's awful. I am Ain't the worst part, Quill. Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am Groot. As far as he knows, he's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. I know we don't talk a lot, Groot, for, you know, obvious reasons. <laughs> but I can't imagine this team without you. I can't change the past, but I can't commit to making the future better. I am Groot. He says he knows, and he's grateful. Ooh, so swirly. Is that even a plant? Wonder where Gru picked up that one. Hey, Gamora. Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right, no talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, 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 who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat, call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. 
Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. The warrior. I, well, am I am the warrior. warrior. And heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> <laughs> See, just singing. All right, I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Actually, my job here is done. Really? Yep, and it worked out great. I'll let you go back to, uh, studying the blade. Sure. Watch it, Peter. You could fall on my sword if you're not careful. Could you move? Can't exactly complete a routine if you're walking about. I feel like I've seen this before. Did Gru pick it up in nowhere? In case it wasn't clear, you're in the way. Did Rocket move his crate? Yeah, I did. I got a plan for those gun parts. You're gonna love it. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. I'm sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. I just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Why? Where are you going? Did you mute me? I what? You keep repeating the same meaningless phrase. So, Lethal Legion. Cool merc name. I used to run with the Ravagers myself. We are far superior to you and your Ravagers, Terran Scum. The Lethal Legion is composed of the best warriors the universe has ever seen. And to me. Hey, look, I get it. You're the best of the best. You're the captain of a super elite team. I'm the captain of a... elite team. Some of us are super elite. You are nothing like me. 
I am Glabri of the Kree Empire. My birthright alone supersedes any sense of worth you foolishly believe you possess. Spoken like a true Kree. <laughs> More like an arrogant a-hole. Enough! I will not be disrespected. You will be eliminated. Give me your best shot, Helmet Head. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. Your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Scan again. Possible. Just a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us. needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... 
Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpan's mistakes. How may we assist you? We should report what Rager is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not oh, everything. Flark you! We, we are, are aware of the current threat, but can vote no resources toward fighting it. Just pick something, Peter. After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? That ain't okay. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Scroll down! Scroll down! Groot wants us to report a crime. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Yes! Due, Due to, to the imminent termination of civilization, we are unable to open new cases. Hey, Wolberry, got any ideas? Ugh, I hate bureaucracy. How about future crime? Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? No. Connected. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mine. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda, Andromeda galaxy. galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind is collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. Is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. I am Groot. At least abomination sounds scary. Look, we just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Still alive. Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Nova Corps helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The 
The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. And yet, after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system, knowing it wasn't safe. Where would you even go? Please understand that we are not able to disclose information of this nature to untrustworthy parties. Untrustworthy, my tale. And how long are you gonna hide from the church, huh? A millennia? Bolenia? As long as it takes. And if you try to come back, you'll be completely outnumbered. The Darian culture will be preserved, but it'll never be safe again. Point, Point taken. taken. Nevertheless, we must leave. Why? For unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith. As an energy source is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That is why they fail. Ha! Drax, he's as dumb as a stick and he ain't failed so far. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand, and you're running away from it. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We, we do not experience emotion, therefore, therefore we, we cannot, cannot be afraid. Why are you running, then? Our primary directive is the preservation yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a Class G superintelligence, not an infinite loop. You, you have, have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the galaxy, we, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did, we did not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, no Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on the Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off.
Well? Well, I see it. <sighs> Son of a schmack. Accepting the promise. We got a job, Quill. I know. Patrick's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they right. find us, we're we screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, oh yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care. Just fix it. Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Noble Core. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. Mora? You all right in there? Look, we're all frustrated. We did what we could with the world mind, but they weren't even listening. It doesn't matter. They had their minds made up. They were being kind of scut. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did nothing wrong. I was just asking them to do their job. How about doing your job? My job? Have you seen the size of that church ship? What am I supposed to do? Guess you and the world mind aren't so different. What? Maybe it's because I had a tyrant for a dad, but I'm used to people in charge not being afraid to get scut done. The heck? Hey, Musclehead! Did you ever run that weapon system analysis you wanted to do? Drax! You hear me? I am Groot. Ooh, need some brushing action. Nice and clean.
Shoo, shoo. And the bed smells. Great. We have a ship. This is our room. Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Oh. Weird air. What? What is it? What is this? How are you? Me. Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket. Yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh. <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Uh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill. Do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go! Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice! Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I... I Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, 
totally accepted it. I am super stoked to see my mom again. And rejoin your daughter. D yes, right, right, my, my daughter. I knew you would see the truth of her light, Peter Quill. Yep, uh, the truth and light, dead. Not dead, uh, my daughter, it's all super great. This pleases me. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because that's murder, man! If you kill them, then they can't accept the promise. The matriarch will bring them back, along with everyone else. That is her promise. Right, right. She'll, she'll bring them back. I just thought you were trying to turn a new leaf. I do not have foliage. I'm just saying, think of the example you're setting for Chimeria. The matriarch's promise requires uncompromising faith. Something you would understand if you had truly accepted it. Drax, Drax, I swear. Choose well, Peter Quill. We've landed on the Matriarch's planet. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Crap, 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 crap. Please let there be calms, please let there be calms. Also, please be okay. Hello? Anyone? Peter? I am Groot. Is there a reason why Muscles locked me in my room? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. Don't worry? D yeah, d you know. Be happy. I might be able to activate the Milano self-destruct sequence. That's your plan? Ooh, 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 what, you got a better one? A little hard to concentrate with Peter singing. I'm thinking. Ah, uh, think somewhere else. Stop singing. For your information, the Lama thing finds my voice delightful. Her name's Cammy. That's it. We're locked in, but she's not. So, she's an idiot. Doesn't mean she can't help us. Can you transfer ship schematics to my tablet? Maybe get me a camera feed. Yeah, okay. Why? I want to check where Cammy is. Done. Go ahead and grab it. Okay, I see her. Gamora, sing something, anything. Why? Just do it! This is me singing a song. I hope you like it because I don't. <laughs> oh, wow, she hates your voice. Fuck you! It's good. She responds to singing. Maybe if we direct her to that panel near the cockpit. The emergency door controls. Yes! Just keep singing. I'll use the PA and try to lure her to chew the lock override. She chews everything. Really doing this, are we? I mean, if I'm the only one singing right now, be happy. In every life we have some trouble, but when you worry, you make it double. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy now. I think it's working. Do 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 do. -do, -do. <sighs> Be happy. Be happy. Here's a little song I wrote. Oh. Not wanna sing it no for no. Don't worry. Be happy. What? Voice. Ah. Uh. <sighs> blah 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 blah. La 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 la. Don't worry. Don't 
do do da beep do 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 a bee this is enchanting peter freaking enchant la 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 beep beep bop boop don't worry don't worry be happy it's gonna be stuck <laughs> Okay, come on, girl. Give it a little nibble. Uh, do what you do best, you toothy bastard. Guys! I think she's doing it! <laughs> I can't believe it worked! We're not on the sacrosanct. We're on a planet. Well, that's a flarkin' relief. Let's get the scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No. no not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Clark, Quill. It's about Kratak in time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. Suppose we convince Drax to come back. Not sure we can get anything through that thick skull of his. Drax consistently believes and trusts everything he hears. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. I know you're ready. I'm brute. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, uh, the stuff is gross! Uh, are you kidding me? Uh, what first the worst? Fuck it. You all right? That's it. I hate water. I hate being wet. And I hate not getting paid. We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs. Great. They aren't nuts. Pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest. Especially pacifists. So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister and... It's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. The village is this way. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh. Don't fall and you won't get wet. 
Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Well, even if he did, he knows how to swim. Unlike some people. Is there anything we need to know here, Gamora, about what we're getting into? Lamentus is a refuge. There are no weapons, no conflicts. The priests, they live in the now. They never accept promise. And we've seen first that. Found Drax. I am scoundrel. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! Men are lost! Rock out a little help here! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> oh, fine. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am good. The point is... Or was... Or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotadi take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> and we're in! What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of this space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky. 
Loki is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him see through the Matriarch's lies. Double Clark! Look! Allison sensed that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you don't. Not yet. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Fuzzy Cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. This place reminds me of the quarantine zone in all the wrong ways. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Seems deadly and cold and wet. Just keep moving once you're in. The priests never talk much about these caves. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning is actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panicked final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. Too late. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. Poor little... Get up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. I doubt it. You are sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. Let me get this straight. Something somewhere in this dank, dark cave will save Drax. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Yeah. Uh, all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff. He saved your butt. He drags a lot of heavy things around. And thrown rocks. Seems to love throwing rocks. Throwing rocks is a proud Katafian custom. trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. I just did. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? Take it back. 
Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H has probably moved on by now. She literally just sent people to kill us. We bludgeoned her favorite monster, Quilt. In no timeline does she ever forget. Okay, okay. So negative. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. Oh, no, Sir Groot, there's no such thing as the Kotati Root. Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh, I know the answer. It's the same across all timelines. I told you, I was here to recuperate. I, I was in a bad place. We had to keep an eye on her. We're being watched. Did he actually say that, or are you just trying to get us to turn around? Hey, don't shoot the translator. I'm just relaying the message. But now that you mention it, we're not turning around. Groot says we should check things out over here. Oh, Gamora, I saw the cutest little doll when I was on Nowhere. You'd love it. You sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! <gasps> An eye watching. Nebula wasn't your fault, Gamora. You know that, right? What's she talking about? Nothing. Probably some other timeline. Right? If you say what the floor? There's two of them. Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Yeah, maybe not. Something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. 
All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave. I am Groot. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before? Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come? And other shadows, too. Ours? Not ours? A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see... Friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Looks like there's something on the other side. Too bad Drax is out of it. I'm sure he'd love to punch a giant face. Green he's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. <coughs> Ugh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Set in the charge! Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills us. Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. Buddy, think you could lift this? No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bark hole shot. You find anything, Peter? Nothing in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. There's that feeling again. 
The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, <laughs> little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. You're like my angry little through line. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Do you even have a chance of stopping them? Oh, yes. But only if you cure Draxy Waxy here. The five of you are the only ones who ever do anything. did seem to care about the Nova kid, didn't he? Always wanting us to do right by her. Even when it was clearly a bad idea. I am Groot. Of course, little fuzzy here. Under that angry exterior is a heart of gold. Finally, the face of a thousand lies. I think... Is gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Tati mentioned the faces in the dark before. Larkin, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. It's 
okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! Ugh. What? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. So am I! Are you smart, boy? Why did I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How would a gun do that? Show him! Show that! And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, to towery, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Shatari? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I don't want to think about that right now! Fog of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah. How far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. Chop it down! about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just fun to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I know why we're here. I don't think we're actually going to hear all about it. Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to think he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. You! Don't make no sense. What doesn't? How come everything attacking us don't attack each other? some epic, one-of-a-kind monster. Oh, you won't have to make that up. I was gonna uh, assume you got your timelines crossed again. <laughs> I'll have to tell the priests about the big baddies down here. Once we cure Drax, maybe we could capture a couple. What the flark for? Don't know. Maybe give them to Hellbender as a peace offering? Yeah. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. 
And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. But those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Yes! It's just a plant plant, not a you plant. But we ain't got much choice. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket, don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the What would you guys do without me? Yeah! Where, oh where, will we get another gun? Fear the almighty Star-Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about the death? Uh, it's actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind? Focus on saving tracks. He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't, <laughs> too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up, and I'll swipe him in your sleep. I'd settle for some shelter. where we just leave Rocket here, hypothetically speaking. Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me, hypothetically speaking! Oh, little fuzzy. Sometimes you die trying to get out. Yes! I can't believe that works. Half work. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. Right, I'm on it. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. 
The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Sure, you had tentacles. What do you say, group? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. This cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. Oh, what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, <laughs> seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> no, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! I am... Good. What did I just say? Oh, little Fuzzy, you'll feel... You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in, the tests saw me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on half worlds. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Clark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry as all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see. What's wrong with my visor? I can't see anything. Huh. Must be Groot's bioluminescence. It ain't on the defined light spectrum. Uh, right. Okay, 
Anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those flognards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. These ears don't lie, lady. I think I can tell the difference between Lady Hellbender's minions and some giant bugs. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Right. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things. But the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes. Sort of. Ugh. Don't be frustrated, little fuzzy. We're all still alive. That's super rare. Nah, I'm kind of with Rocket on this. I can handle spooky caves and cryptic objectives, but man, do I draw the line at fog monsters. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Fortunately, it's too late to turn back. It's never too late to turn back. Turning back is what we do, lady. No, she's right. There was no way out of that fog room. Either we move forward or we die. Yay! possible timeline we all get smushed great let me guess further down only if you want to save that and the whole galaxy let me get back to you Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay! This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. God, I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! And Gamora. 
You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, pulling a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? Ooh, you're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Get ready! Talk about bad breath! We gotta do something to cut its trap! Please work, please work. 
Come on, Rocket, you can do this! You can, right, Mantis? Mantis! Not dead. <laughs> I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, the friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Hey. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very. Very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. He's totally gonna feed us to something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de escalation thing. You're kidding. Even with our prize negotiator over here? In a very small, fractured universe, Star Guy ends up being as charming as he thinks he is. Mantis has been right so far. About what? Finding swamp water in the stinking cave of doom? Yeah, Bug Lady got that part right. Thanks! The priests of Pama settled Lamentis for a reason. This is a place of healing. Uh-huh. Spiritual healing. Drax would have taken us right back to Sacrosanct if Mantis hadn't seen it coming. Exactly. We can trust her. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... A cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. Tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. the gravity of your treacherous trespass. Is this? 
Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys, it's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No, wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsock. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Oh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? The beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, God Guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the only one that hears that, right? Please be something soft down there. <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, hey, Gamora? I'm going to enjoy this. after all something's not right you fail to fathom the rules of this realm <laughs> what
What the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target rat. Something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up. Look. Not so fast, little one. Drax, wait up! I get the impression something doesn't want us to reach Drax. <laughs> Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. They were headed for the center. We should be making our way there. I'm trying. This place is like a maze. It is a... I know it's a maze. Drax! How the... It doesn't matter. Get him! There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it! I can hear you. You play Pong on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Oh, assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left, left. Huh? You can see Your friend me. is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no- nope. There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? Because <laughs> I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it. But it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa? Are you alright? Drax, come here! It is time to come home! What the flark is that? Yes, little one. Mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. What mark are those? Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. There will be more. We have merely moved deeper within its domain. Speaking of which...
Is that... Drax's wife. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big luck. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. I do not know what you ask. Shut! I cannot contain it! the charade. Promise at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping. Hobo wizard. All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. And you can't pay me if we're both dead. Well, at least there's an upside. Mantis! A little help here! Ow! Rocket! I tried pinching. There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is an ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drags, love. It is time to eat. Seem really special. They are the only thing. 
nothing that matters. My Hovat was the most fearless mate I have ever known. He brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had. And not resent the time that we lost. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. You quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me.
Time to go. Hey, Goldie Braun! Want to get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. <laughs> eh, that first fight don't count. We got muscles and the bug lady now. Look, I don't know what's going on, but it's clear this is at least a little bit your fault. My contrition is clear, as is my resolve to rectify my recklessness. Hey, we get reckless. It's kind of our brand. We're all on the same team. We've got to work together. I am in favor of this plan. Go Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. Hang on. You can't name a craving. I named nothing. Clawed through my consciousness. Its deafening demand sated solely by suffering. Will you listen to this thing? Its call is too great to ignore. I too heard this voice. It was pure putrefaction. Sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull. And excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? Sounds like you were careless. Deluded by desperation. My mind was melding with Magus. Did it work, at least? In a savage sense, it split my soul in twain and cast us to the cosmos. So, no. For me, there was only darkness. I awoke half whole, certain the stone shattered. How Magus merged with another, I know not. I think I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. could get her back. Essence can be retained, but not restored. Our echo acts as anchor, manipulated by Magus to deceive the daughter. So, it's like Corel said. Nikki needs to accept her death. This feat is not so easily done. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. 
Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive this ever. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find What's going? Going? What are you? Oh, oh fuck. fuck. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. We need to go now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? He has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. <laughs> 